Alright, good day to all my friends here. This is Marcus from S Metaphysics. So, who's around? Let's see, drop in, say a hi, and see who's around. Okay, so how can I see a message? Huh? Hmm. Comment. So, who's around? Come, come. So, while waiting for some of our friends to join in, today's session is going to be a continuation of last week's. Um, Feng Shui 101, okay. So let's see. Drop in and say a hi if you're around. And while waiting for some of our friends to join. So today, today, today is going to be light and easy. So if there are any questions regarding Feng Shui, yep, you can ask. So probably it's the time to clarify some of the basic stuff, you see. A lot of times when the fundamentals are not sitting right, uh, and you start to apply tactical, uh, there will be a lot of problems okay, and more questions will pop up so it's always good to take this opportunity uh, for friends who have missed last week's session uh, refresh yourself and look at the video some of the pointers might be useful to you and today is going to it's going to be a continuation of last week's uh, where we left off okay so who do we have we have boon kok all right and we have uh ping ping good hey hi jen nice to see you it's all the same thing. Huh? What concerns us most is about our welfare, our breakthrough, our success, our improvement, our livelihood. Feng Shui is to solve that problem. And Feng Shui, it, a lot of people have this misunderstanding. Huh? Oh, if I buy this piece, you and put, will I be wealthy? Oh, I buy that big statue and put there uh, for wealth. You see, uh, if if it is so like that, uh, imagine you buy something and put and use and, and suddenly let's say tomorrow or one week later you strike a lottery. Uh, then that thing is pretty potent. Uh. Then are you that if that's the case, uh, the chances of you putting it wrongly are also pretty high. And if you put it wrongly, it can also be very potent. Uh. Isn't that something that sounds like Kong Tao? <laughs> so we are not out to Feng Shui is not this kind of thing. Uh. Feng Shui is really about understanding qi and then how uh, based on what you want in life how to tap on it ride on it and how to make things happen uh, uh, by you taking also your part of the whole deal actions and and with the qi coming in then it will it allow things to flush you see it's like early in the morning you wake up uh. then what do you do normally <sighs> you, you will do this kind of thing right maybe you stretch a while Breathe in fresh air when you go for a morning brisk walk or, or a jogging, you also breathe in fresh air. What we are trying to do is to breathe in fresh air so that the, the, our lungs with all the fresh air, it, it, the, the blood cells are able to bring the oxygenated hemoglobin uh, we call it, uh, to the different parts of the whole tissue to get refreshed. If you feel more rejuvenated with that fresh air and then while breathing in fresh air, we are also purging out the stagnant air. Okay? While we do stretching or exercise or yoga or brisk walk or your jog. So same thing. While we are taking actions, we are also bringing in the chi to refresh okay, the whole body. And while we are doing exercises, we are refreshing, rejuvenating our whole muscles. Feng Shui works the same way. Okay? You are bringing in the fresh chi. Sheng Qi and push out the stagnant Qi and while doing that you are also doing your ac actions exercises to, to, to be in tally then these two can like running in tandem left leg right feet left leg right feet left feet right feet then you can it, then you can write in tandem okay so don't, don't just ask for good luck good luck and you do nothing uh, then you'll go nowhere you'll just be feeling good uh, okay feeling good there are many ways to feel good also uh, huh? okay Okay, so who do we have? Come, drop me say a hi. So we have a we have Suho, we have Vienna, Vienna, we have well, a lot of friends. Huh? Okay, so today's session is about Feng Shui. Feng Shui. Let me turn on my slides. Where is my slide button? Okay, good. Now I become a smaller version. Okay, so, <coughs> so 
and today today we continue but we always uh, uh while we talk about feng shui and a uh, part of it i'm trying to link to yijing also so so always i always must say thank you okay to who our three forefathers okay who see in case you all still don't know what's yijing uh, yijing is really about the law of changes and everything in this world is really about changes uh, the law of impermanence uh. Uh, while things are moving changing transforming adapting cyclic move uh, whatever you got it uh. so things are always in movement are changing so because of that we are able to understand the laws of nature and in the past people study aging because to, for survival so climate plantation livelihood hunting winter went to keep the stuff harvesting went to go and plant stuff so all this pertains to the olden days the tribes people their livelihood so they study the nature and end up Fusi, one of the smarter person in the tribe, he managed to understand a bit more and he, he has new realizations and apparently he he founded this thing called the eight trigrams. Okay, the Qian Tui Li Zhen Xun Tan Kun, the eight trigrams. And with that eight trigrams, he comes up with different explanations and characteristics, but back in those days, quite uncivilized, huh? as in like the language, all these are not mature. Uh, so they are using drawings and lines. So they use the yin line and the yang line, which two broken line or one solid line as their language of drawings. So end of the day, Victoria, in the pictorial sense, all these eight trigrams they use lines to represent. And but it represents in their terms the law of nature and how to understand and live with the nature, so that they can survive. That goes to that's we we'll see. And then apparently to King Wen, okay, Zhou Wen Wang, he he was actually uh towards the end of the Shang Dynasty, there's this very triad emperor who who is out to just uh, uh, make a mess of the, of the whole world. Like, everybody don't doesn't like him. So apparently that uh, I've seen I've seen I've seen this story quite a few times, so I shall repeat it here. If you want, just refer back to my past teaching uh, uh, sessions. But end of the day, he was locked up. Okay. Uh, Ji Chang, his name was his surname was Ji, his name was Chang Ji Chang. Okay, so he was locked up in the cell by King Shang at the age of 82, I think. Yeah, and apparently, during the in, in those days, uh, when he was locked up, being wise, being for survival, also, he things happened along the way, and apparently, he invented the 64 hexagram from the eight trigrams, and he gave a lot of meanings to it. Okay, and apparently, uh it evolves into that too also can be used for prediction not to mention it, it represents humans intelligence also so here so king Wen invented the 64 uh hexagram then uh, then a couple of uh, many hundred of years later then uh, confucius confucius uh, okay okay <coughs> this gentleman also add a lot of meanings to the 64 hexagram so these three gentlemen salute Thank you. Without them, there's no aging today, and there's no a lot of topics that we can talk about in metaphysics today. Thank you to these three gentlemen. Ah. Okay, always, always. Ah. So, some of my past videos I've done in the past are all, talk these are all a few handful. Ah. If you're looking at Ba Zi, Yi Jing, Qi Men, Zi Wei, all these, are, uh, there are some handful scattered here and there. Some are still available, some are not. So, if you're interested, search for yourself under our Facebook. Maybe some are in YouTube and you might be able to find some. Okay. Uh, I've talked about noblemen, I talk about wealth, I talk about career, I talk about health, I talk about relationship, I talk about reading characters, I talk about what life falls, I talk about history matching a country's parts matching to the actual situation. I even bring back to memory lane of 250 years looking at US parts and memory lane of Singapore since what independence. Every, every single major event, I look at the Singapore Pajir. And these are all fun sessions. Uh. If you're interested, just go and take a look. Uh. Okay. Okay, the key thing is again, today's session is really everything we learn, uh, we learn uh, is all about tactical. Yes, but the foundation must be there before the tactical. Or else, a lot of things we'll be asking more questions if we don't get the foundation right. So, and that's very important, okay? It's just like this lady down here, I want to do this kind of stretching. Uh, for me, I cannot, I must have some foundation first. Uh. So, if you learn Yong Chun, you also need to have some foundation, uh, the horse stand, the, 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 how, how, to, how to really have some of the fundamental, the Qi Ben Gong, I got it, okay, in Chinese. It's important, alright? So, 
Hey, hi. Who do we have? We have Aggie. We have Atai. Oh, hey, we have Sandra here. Augustine. Thanks for joining in. Okay. So, uh, it's all fun. We are all in the journey of learning, being better, helping ourselves, helping people. But we must sort out the fun, the foundation, right? Uh, okay. So, talking about foundation. Okay. So today's session is a continuation from last week, and it is very suitable for friends who are totally new to feng shui. It's also for friends who are into feng shui already, but want to have a better understanding because we don't know what we don't know. Okay, so uh, for, look at the other angle and see how things are from a different perspective. So uh, for friends who are starting to apply feng shui, this is very good for you. Okay, especially for friends who are you try to use feng shui based on their understanding, their learnings to look for their property. Uh, then those that what I mentioned last time and today will be very will be useful for you lah. Okay. Okay. And for those friends who have been trying a lot of stuff, uh, out of 10 times that you try uh, on feng shui application uh, and out of 10 times and uh, 9.5 times you did not get your results at all. Uh, then probably you need to relook at today's and last week's uh, session. Okay. So this so it's about this is I'm not gonna dive in dwell in very deep into how to learn the different templates in the lower part and kind of stuff okay uh, all the details of certain technical application okay uh because it is because most of us are uh beginners i think okay so that's why i don't delve into too deep onto respective tactics unless you've got some questions then maybe happens to then uh if i can answer then i'll probably answer a bit lah, okay so and i'm not going to cover into different schools of feng shui okay uh, on, and differentiating them because uh, I think a lot of it, these informations are available everywhere. Okay, so <coughs> if any questions, just pop in, ask. Hey, Sino, nice to see you. Okay, I'm looking at my iPad here, uh, so that's why uh, I, I I can't see the comments. I can only see from my iPad. Okay, alright. So alright, today today, these are all the these are all the uh one oh ones which I've dropped out. Okay, we have covered a handful of them last week. In fact, we have covered half of them last week. So these are the half that we have covered last week. <laughs> okay, so today we'll continue from where we left off. Okay, so if you have missed anything from last week, and for now to continue, the thing that you cannot miss is number one, objective first before any readings. Okay, this is this is a mother. Uh. This is the mother of all rule. Uh. If you don't have an objective, you look at Hong Chui, and you start to over worry problem will come because you will get lost okay so a lot of people actually ask oh oh i got a pillar in front of my house oh i got a corner sha how ah, how ah. oh then oh that the roof sha is it a sha how, ah, how ah. oh then oh there's a junction is it gonna be freaking bad how ah? there'll be a lot of good stuff and a lot of bad stuff in a feng shui probably for where you are living or your office but if you just keep asking Oh, this is so and so. How, how, how? You'll just be focusing on over worrying on stuff, which end of the day, whatever that you focus on become bigger. Lah. So, whatever you focus on become bigger, and you look at that, it's a bad thing, and you become bigger, then you start to find ways to resolve. But if you have no objective, eh, you'll just be dog chasing tail again. Okay? Always come from the anger of your objective first. Your objective. Okay, so what I mean by that is, for example, uh, let's say if there is a, let's say a junction, okay, junction has been very mesmerizing because some people say junction or oh, junction is bad. So if the junction is good, it's good. Okay, it depends. It depends on the junction based on your house. Okay, and, and these two how they correspond to one another. But if you see a junction, you get in over it, and oh, junction is bad. Ah, ah. Then, then end of the day, you try to find out ways to resolve and keep asking people and you can ask in Facebook, hey, this junction good or bad? Uh? Then out of 20 people, you get 30 different answers. Then you got even more confused. Then you freak out. Then you say, how? How? You ask more questions. Oh, if a smarter way to do is this. Oh, there's a junction. Then you look at your house, you look at your lifestyle, your past, maybe for the last three years. Any issues that are bad, that has been more obvious to you that you felt you know certain things are bad for example once you stay in this house you have been people have been losing jobs <coughs> or once you stay in this house uh you and your girlfriend broke up then your father and your mother keep quarreling and then your brothers and his wife got divorced ah, then you know something is very wrong really <laughs> then because of that issue you want to have an objective hmm the relationships are getting bad and it pays the whole house 
how do I address this relationship issue? Ah, objective, how to resolve relationship issues. Then you look at the issue, the junction, for example, and then you see whether are there any correlation or not. Always come from the angle what you want to solve, what are you trying to get out from there, what are you trying to aim at, based, aim at based on a certain thing. Then you ask, then you look at issues again. Okay? Oh, same for Bazi. Uh. People who, oh, I got a three, I got a three punishment in my chart. How are, uh, how are? Uh? Is there a problem in your life first one that pertains to the three punishment? Uh? If there is, okay, good. What it, are you trying to get out from there to be better off, to resolve, to overcome, to transform, to change, to break through? Is that correlated to the three killing? Uh, if yes, then do something. Uh. Okay, so, so it's always about problem, verify it, and then solution. <laughs> Don't go the other way around. Uh. Always have, uh, without verifying, you see a problem, then try to solve without an objective, and uh, then you're going to screw up the other way around. Okay, don't do that, don't do that, very painful. Okay, all right, all right. So, if you missed the whole of last week, the key, the key thing you must never forget is whatever readings that you're doing, assessment, uh, uh, consultation, always ask, what is your purpose? What is your objective? What are you trying to get out from this? Uh, so that you become more directed to the person's need, then look for how to, from a reading, verify it and look for telltale signs of how to resolve it by what action and what time and space to tap on. Okay, okay, okay. So today, today, I'm going to cover about this. Look for, can see, then the cannot see. What does it mean? Uh? Anybody want to try? Want to try, try telling me or, or share, sharing? What does this mean? Hey, hey, this is going to be a, a more interactive session. Uh. Make it more interactive, okay? So that it's more fun. Uh. Or else, uh, uh, only me talking also quite boring. Okay, so, okay, come. What does this mean? Look at here, what do you think it means in, 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 uh, in the context of Feng Shui? Come, tell me. Any ideas? What does it mean? Jen says, can see means can benefit. Okay, Paul. Mm. <laughs> I know it's okay. I mean, at least, at least I, I know and I can see a response. Uh, at least then I can, uh, at least, uh, how to pace this whole session. Okay. Can uh, see form cannot, wait, you see form and cannot see chi. <laughs> By the way, uh, if you can see the chi, uh, naked eye, uh, you please tell me, okay. <laughs> Normally the chi, you can't see with naked eye, uh, okay. Unless you have something that is out of the norm, la, okay, uh, okay. Ping ping, look for physical things around first. Any direct and indirect spirit? Mm, uh, no. Uh, probably yes. Okay, <coughs> okay, okay. What I'm trying to meet met down here is in feng shui. Uh, if put it in a very simple terms, okay. If let's say um, this is your house. Oh, that is a mountain down there. If if at the door or stand by the window, your naked eye can see the mountain, it's a good thing. If you stand at the door or the window and there's a building that's blocking in front of you, but you know that behind the building there's a mountain, ah, also good. Lah. But if you compare these two side by side, ah, can see with naked eye is better than cannot see with the naked eye. <laughs> Simple as that. Okay. So uh there's a certain way of how chi flows, okay? So when there's a line of sight being blocked, there's a, a way of simply sim, um, in a more sim, simple manner put it, uh you can see is preferred than you cannot see, okay? So but then if you cannot see and it's there compared to you cannot see and it's not there for the good chi lah, then you cannot see it and is there is better off. Uh. So depending on the different tier that you're looking at, okay? So long story short, can you see better than cannot see? Cannot see is there better than cannot see and it's not there, okay? Uh, so simple put is that. So if it's a good chi source, a good chi mouth, a good chi resource, a good area to tap on for you, for your purpose, definitely if it fits the criteria, can see is better than you can't see it with your naked eye. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. 
So, uh, historic Chin Jong says audit historical events first, then only feng shui. <coughs> oh no! Okay, I, that is part of the the last week. Verify the past before you propose anything. Okay, hey, did I didn't cover that last week or maybe later. Okay, but you in feng shui, you always have to verify in any assessment feng shui ba zhi yi jing qi men whatever you need to verify the person's past to make sure that what you are seeing matches and then you can advise uh talking about this uh, is also one reason that is you need to know whether you have the, the affinity with that person or not for verifying us uh, uh, Xin Yong, since you mentioned this uh, uh it's a good question uh why we are out to verify is first we want to confirm what we are seeing what we potentially are seeing matches to your past events before we can tell you the future things how to make it better some people when you talk to them cannot click uh, just cannot click uh, and the frequency cannot match whatever you say they just don't know cannot recall what do you think you guess lah wow this kind of people uh, uh, when you find they cannot cannot click uh, then then if you cannot click it's hard for you to provide solutions okay something is not sitting right maybe it's a time that the day that antenna a bit screw up maybe uh, because of that person's style maybe because your brain a bit a bit loosen boats and nuts but somehow or other if you're trying to do a verification and it cannot match at all don't read issues are somewhere which you may know or don't know but it just says that if things are not sitting right from verification phase don't go to the diagnostic phase okay important huh? Okay, so any good question, uh, Chin Yong? Okay, Augustine say, I see it as being fire element as the sun. Uh, okay, I mean, this is just a picture. La. You see, uh, if you... <coughs> I'm just trying to illustrate that if you see the sun, better it's shiny. But if you use a hand and block, cannot see, the sun is still there, right? Uh, if close your eye, doesn't mean the sun is not there. Ma. Okay, but the key thing is, can see is better than cannot see. Okay, okay. So, uh... Yuan Fen. Yeah, so you put it that way. Uh, the, the affinity to carry on. Okay, okay even for example, uh, uh, in Feng Shui, uh, uh, there's this. What do you call that? Uh? Oh, Castle Gate. Castle Gate, okay? Castle Gate is very good technique for uh, quick, short term activation of uh, opportunities, tangible or non tangible. I uh, put it simple. Quick technique for wealth, okay, castle gate. So you see, uh, you're looking at the how it is done is this way, uh, castle gate. Friends, anybody know castle gate here? Say type a me. Any friends that don't know, type a no la. So I uh, uh, see whether you are familiar with castle gate or not. Heard before, heard before. No? If you all have if you all understand castle gate, type a me. If you are not familiar, then type a no la. Then let me see. Castle gate is one of the technique where <laughs> you need to see. Uh, you cannot see, no use, uh, cannot apply. Uh, okay. And and uh what you call it in Chinese? Longman uh? Jie, I think. Yeah. I can't, I can't recall. I can't, I can't, I can't recall this like, technical thing, but I, I used it before. One of it, it, okay, simply put it, okay? A bit of technical. Uh? The door at the sector. And based on the door at the sector, you apply her to, and then you see whether you can see the important chi source or not. That's all. Uh? Okay. For example, if the door is at north, right? If the door is at north, okay? Because north being one for the flying star ma. so from there one her two one and six is a cop is, is a natural uh, affinity ma. so you look at six and see whether you can see a junction or not you can see water or not lor. simple lor. like that so can see is important lor, for castle gate <laughs> so finish long story short okay some people will write what the long story short. okay so that's castle gate so it's one of the way to apply where there are many many different formulas like castle gate is just only one of them okay so so <coughs> so it's one of the method which you can see better than you cannot see that even if you only apply three harmony right? whatever you do to tap uh, can see is very important okay so now do you understand what i'm trying to say now repeat repeat after me use your mouth make sure it goes in the brain can see better than cannot see okay okay so in even in applying yi jing uh, on feng shui uh, there's also this thing no can see is important okay uh, it allows us to assess a property to see whether the opportunities are good enough for you or not. If there's no opportunity, uh, 
then is there are very little for you to select what to you can tap on. Uh. Then the scarcity will also means there are limitations to how far you can go. Uh, because if you are if you still don't know how to choose on the scarcity of opportunities, then you will be pretty much screwed and dry. Uh. Okay? So that's how it is it's being done. Okay? So if you want to look for a house, try to have more open you can see. So they got more chances of can see stuff, okay? Uh, so if your house are uh, you look at north, oh it's a building block. Then northeast, oh it's a building block. Then look at the east, oh another building is being blocked. Everything they are everywhere they are building block blocking you except except maybe the except let's say the west. Oh west that's uh, is a block. Be beyond beside that, everywhere around me are all especially Singapore or or maybe Hong Kong uh, or uh, maybe Taiwan, uh, everywhere block 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 block. Uh, then I tell you it'll be quite painful. Uh, okay. You then that's why you feel very stuffed up. So don't you realize that in terms of opportunities and growth, a lot of buildings stuck close together, the economy cannot go far and fast, like countries like uh Taiwan, Hong Kong. Singapore lucky, you okay, get lucky the way we plan, uh, there's a blend of some which are very open. Okay, now you got it. Okay. So can see is better than cannot see. Okay? So are you ready for next? If you're ready, type a yes. Where's my next one? Uh, by the way, you already type a yes. So it is very important in feng shui that uh, this you apply this when you look for stuff. So if you look for a house, that right, in Singapore or Malaysia, if your block is a S shape, if your block is a J shape, <laughs> you also have to pretty much watch out because there are more blockages. Uh, and, and that will compromise some of the opportunities potentially depending on which corridor are you staying at uh. mm. okay so long story short friends out there buying properties those like singapore hdb <coughs> if you're buying those which are s shape or j shape uh, <laughs> try to avoid okay uh, try to avoid i'm not saying they're confirmed bad it depends on which corridor but there's a high chance right if you land up in the wrong spot, you'll be very painful. Okay, avoid S and J. Okay, so next thing, next thing is really about um this. See and observe, then you use the law pan. Okay. Uh, I covered this briefly last week. That is, if you are any 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 so called master. Uh, uh, please don't call me master call me by my name Kennedy okay I prefer to make friends uh. <laughs> okay. but any master that comes to your house go to your place once they come to your place they go straight into the house they take out the lower pan hmm. <laughs> I think you, you you start to have your antenna come up and be more watchful <laughs> because <clears throat> it's usually you need to observe the whole area outside look for things observe things and clarify the external environment then to use low pan normally okay that should be the way don't don't start into all oh, the door direction go go in the house the first thing take out the imagine the door direction no always understand from a big major things because if the externals are not understood whatever they're trying to do to the internal of the house can easily go wrong okay it's just like this uh, it's a good general knowledge that for example every house at least, uh, at least, uh, should have one good spot. Uh. We call it the strong Wi-Fi spot. Or some older people, uh, older days, uh, or older tradition, I uh, call it a wealthy spot. Wealthy spot again. Okay, uh. So, so wealth spot. But some houses, because of external, their wealth spot are weak. Some houses, because of external, their wealth spot are very strong. And most of the houses usually can have more than one spot but it depends on your lucky and lucky if that good spot falls into a missing corner then you ouch law painful law that means uh even even your uh, your luck is not sitting with you lah. so so end of the day whether well spot or not it has to be matched to the criteria outside the house to see how strong or weak because you're trying to activate a weak well spot uh, issues can happen okay more issues can happen where you work you work your ass off probably for a better pay job or you keep working hard and you got that 
closure but the money is not coming in no? or probably you you your health are all very much compromised no? so <coughs> all these are the possible things where if your wealth spot is weak assumingly correct uh, and you try to activate it you are stretching it it's just like a person that has no not enough one day maybe half a half a bowl of rice a day and you ask him to work for 12 hours every day carrying five kilo every round this overstretch same thing if your worst spot is weak you try to make an egg activating well you are waking yourself up okay don't do this kind of thing huh? so must understand the external first before we know the internal before we can apply appropriate position so and before you look at low pine and see oh where's the wealth uh? where's the good where's the nobleman uh? okay so paul ask see external features first then evaluate the internal setting yes very correct okay see the external first then the internal you can read my mind you know paul you know why Ta -da! okay always external first then internal okay rule 101 always external first then internal because if you don't know the eight triangle sectors, okay, the Chen Tui, Lin Shi, Kang, Kun, whether they're strong or weak, and for the weak one, if you, you ramp them up further, you will get overheated. Uh, when they are strong, then go into the house, you try to look for the wealth spot in relevance to the strong externals, ah, uh, that'd be very good, okay. So that comes to the question, uh, when you're looking for a house, any friends looking for properties here, type of me? Any friends looking for properties here, type of me? Because if you are looking for property, uh, it always comes from this anger. Don't ask, hey, this house good for me or not? Hey, this property good or not? Hey, this developer, in this this new development good or not? Feng Shui good or not? <laughs> the good may not be your good, as I said in the last session. Always ask the first question, what are you looking for? That are your key priorities, your key objective in life. Usually that one or two, okay? it cannot be a list of 20. Uh. At least of 20 is too 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 greedy top priority of one two or three is okay then not only you anybody that's living in the house and then from there you look at it and you decide which are the few top one or two key stuff which are incongruent more people are wanting that to be better right with that objective then you look for a property they are supportive to that objective ah if you can find one house that's supportive of that objective ah that's a good house if you cannot find a house that's supportive of that objective ah that's a lousy house okay so don't you say i want a good 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 your good may not be my good so don't don't, don't be so vague okay so and only when first first criteria i miss that you must find a place that you like uh, second criteria based on your objective the priorities you found a house that are able to support that uh, <coughs> then Similarly, uh, in that sense, it also means that, for example, if your house, uh, uh, let's say the father got asthma, the, the daughter got respiratory issues, then don't find a house which are weak, lousy, compromised at the west side. Lah. <laughs> because that will further deteriorate the asthma and the respiratory issues existing for the family members. So anything that the family is also priority, whether you what you want or majorly what you do not want look for a house that's a, that is supportive of that ah then you are on the right track okay okay so alexander says thing to see if terrace house only standing outside can see mountain and lake is that considered okay if let's say terrace house is stand outside you can see a mountain you can see a water uh at least that fulfills the more chances that it can be a good thing more chances are uh, it's not confirmed yet uh. you have to look at what you want in your career in for the house members maybe in the livelihood and that mountain and what or the lake is it supportive of that maybe if you assuming it's supportive that is good uh. assuming it's not supportive then maybe the house the mountain and the lake is good for another aspect you see whether any of your family members can tap to that aspect maybe that mountain is good for uh, let's say doing property line or maybe that mountain in that direction is good for being a uh, uh, something to do with speaking in your job okay be able to influence be able to inspire be able to communicate and guide and the, the influence of of speech uh, if the person's job is about analytics not using the mouth very often then it's a waste but if the person's job is about uh, mass comm uh, private speaker, 
motivation speaker, uh, influencer, ah, that mountain is useful then. So it depends on the mountain being good at what, depending on the direction and what you want as your key focus. If it can align and match, ah, that is good. Okay. So if you have mountain and lake seen from the outside, that shows you a higher chance of something is good. But the next question is that good? Is it the wanted good that you want? Okay, ah, that might be the next question. Ah. Okay, Alexander. Okay, good. Uh, so, any questions? Paul asks, what will happen when the mountains are not in the south and water not in the north for the readiness of period 9? <laughs> uh, life move on. Ah. I mean, yes, there's this thing called the direct indirect spirit, and because of the direct indirect spirit for period so if you have a mountain at the south it's very good if you have a water at the north no for the period nine for the period nine right if you have mountains at the south or the north uh, then it's good if you have water at the let's say southeast or east uh, it's good but it still comes to this there are many different schools of application. The direct and indirect, it just refers to, in a very simplistic sense, uh, that fits the direct and indirect, then it's good for something. There's something that's good, you must be able to tap on it to be better off in the, in the journey, in your life, in your journey, that's all. But there are other schools of thought where it just says otherwise. For example, heard before, not, um, five ghosts carry treasure. Heard before? Any of you heard before? Tell me yes. Five ghost carry treasure. Wu Kui Yun Chai. In ancient text, there's this thing, this 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 formula. Heard before? No? Heard before? No? Heard before? No? Heard before? Tao, yes. Never heard before. Tao, no. <laughs> okay. Five ghost carry treasure. It depends on three criteria. Simple. Okay. It doesn't mean that there are five ghosts going carry treasure. One, uh, five hantu going carry things for you. No, no, no. It doesn't mean that way. It's just olden days people like to use the very bombastic words uh. so that's to make it sound wow super power marvel okay uh, marvel story or, or what, what, dc uh. <laughs> but it, it it just means okay, five ghost carry treasure uh, let me recall uh, based on number one the incoming mountain number two the incoming water and number three the door facing direction and with these three there are certain configurations what it matches can uh, and this doesn't follow the direct indirect spirit. No? So it means if the mountain is at here, the water is at there, water can mean road or can mean terrain, okay? It can mean water per se. So with this uh, and the door facing direction, if you see right, who cares about the period 9, all this here and there? Period 9 is just one perspective only. Okay? So if you cannot use Formula A, long story short, use Formula B. If you cannot apply Formula C3, uh, and to see if you know about the formula, uh, okay? So, so that, that's a long story short. Uh, before I go into too, too complicating stuff. Uh. Okay, okay, okay. Sam asked, Sam, um, if can see but stay very high, can still receive the chi compared to those stay at the low floor? Uh, some formulas you need to be on landed. Some formulas can see, can see. If you don't know the differentiate at this stage, never mind. Can see, feel good, can already. Okay. <laughs> All right, this is the, the, the long story cut short. Lah, okay? Now, some formulas are depending on is it in feng shui? Ah? There's this thing called the chen qi, na qi, okay? where some are based on land, land qi to tap, some are based on above land to tap. Okay? So, so that's why uh, that's why I've said in a very simplistic term. Okay? So, if you're not able to differentiate mountain or, or lake or junction, Good stuff can see, feel good can. Then if you don't want to tap, better still. Okay, can we? enough. Okay, all right. So, Peggy asked or oh, Paul, are you a property agent? <laughs> okay. So external are important. Okay. Once you see the external, then it comes to internal. It's just like this. Ah, uh, people who go for diet, uh, people who go for trying to lose weight. Then, oh, then they see a video program. Then after that, oh, this is a diet to go. Oh, this is the regime to carry out for the exercise. Chong ah, and they just go and do it. You know, you know what happened after that? 
Eh, how come this is up? Because they didn't come to the part where how do they live their life? Okay, how do they externally deal with their life before they can fix the internal? How to make me lose weight? How they live their life, the way they eat, the way the way the lifestyle plays a big part. So it's a similar thing. How the external is determines a lot. Literally 70, 80 percent. No, literally a cent assessment are done, 70 to 80 percent are done based on external. And then to look at the internal, what can fix effectively that aligns with the external to get the best for a feng shui assessment and results. So if you think you keep fixing the inside the house, uh, sit down the house, oh, mm, period nine, go and tip my direction, sheng kong da gua, or whatever uh, formula, okay? go and tip the facing everything. If you keep tilting the facing everything, uh, <laughs> this really uh, in Hokkien we call it kaki, kaki kong, kaki zo, kaki song, uh. you know what I mean? Uh? You do your own self, you, 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 you assess your own self, you make yourself happy only. Uh. <laughs> you see, there's this thing called, where's my phone? Uh? I don't know if I can find my phone. Uh. Yeah, there's this thing, for example, uh, yeah, I love I love Huawei phone. <laughs> phone, uh, I don't care Huawei, Ferrari, iPhone, Samsung, Virtu, flip or no flip, open or no open. I don't care. It's a two hundred dollar phone or five thousand dollar phone. One thing is for sure: when the battery is flat, it's flat. You are done. You can't use. All right now. So how to how to use back the phone, the apps, the function? How you have to charge it up? Uh. Okay, you have to charge it up. Uh. So if you can, if you can, just charge the phone. Ah. Once you charge the phone, the phone got battery power, whatever you need from it, then you can use it. So what's the moral of the story here? <laughs> when the battery is flat, there's nothing you can do. Okay, same thing. <clears throat> if you do not align the outside of the house to the internal, there's no way the chi from outside can be flushed into the house. And if that is not done, inside the house, whatever, wow, good sector, well sector, nice facing, chen kong ta gua, wow, period, nice facing, all this, whatever you're doing uh, is pretty much very, very private limited. This is a secret. Uh. You must know. Uh. So, because if, if the house is not attuned to the outside goods and avoid the outside beds, whatever you're doing inside the house, you're just making yourself happy only. That's why a lot of time, the effects are minimal or not sustainable. Who is learning something here? Type of yes. So you have to always look at outside to match with inside. So that once it match, that means you're able to suck in and tap in the chi source from outside to internal. So just like charging the phone. Once you're able to suck in the chi, the source from outside to internal, uh, then this phone can be charged up. The house is charged up. The locations, the sectors, the corners are charged up. Then you can talk about, oh, good corner, good facing, good chi, well spot, no urban spot, and etc. etc. Or else you're just making yourself feel good, look good, shock, but uh, yeah, feel good. Uh. This is important. Uh. A lot of people didn't don't tell you that. And if you don't know that, you are running around like a monkey. Like what I did in the past. I did run around my house last time, many years ago, like a monkey. Okay? Buying stuff, putting stuff, buying stuff, put the stuff, buy, put, buy, put, buy, put. Until my wife look at me like, hey, what the hell are you doing? Alright, huh? Then after she also gave up. And after that, I also, okay, I also give up myself. That's it. Enough. I learned the proper way, okay? So, so okay? That's important, huh? A lot of 101, huh? people don't know, huh? and they keep doing stuff. Oh, I'm good direction, good typing, good cheat, good cheat. And in the end, chi is good chi okay so hopefully you're learning something okay all right all right good give me give me love and like if you think you know something so i know you know something and you gain something okay so if you don't eat ah how can you shit ah you must suck in something ah then you can type then you can digest you can write exhaust nutrients of it all right now so so suck in the outside so the question now is what are the tools you are using to suck in from outside to inside ah that is the tricky part okay okay all right hope you're learning something good 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 so let me see what questions you have a bring portable battery so okay Paul, bring portable battery that means you also need to charge the phone right uh, okay okay possible any as possible for indirect spirits to be exhausted 
uh, when the you see in dark and dark spirits uh, for friends who know period 8 period 9 the you need to see features in the olden text okay i use the word in olden text uh, you need to see the features of water from outside your house at the east the southeast the southwest oh and the north yeah and the north sorry sorry yeah, and the north correct correct okay so so and the north so uh yes just so i correct a bit of my word see you start, uh? okay so east southeast southwest and north see to see water then the rest of the four directions to see mountains are uh, then from that it ties to period eight and nine for the direct indirect chi and then when it comes to period one they change musical chair la, okay so when you say expired or exhausted is then one of the things is it becomes untimely untimely then the chi will be will be transited will be exhausted okay that means when you shift to a, a new cycle of period then the indirect become direct the direct become indirect uh, that's how we call it a uh, 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 exhausted la. okay mm. yes it can all the features cannot all the features got um, compromised okay the water dry up the reserv reservoir dry up okay or the mountain cannot <laughs> chop off uh, then you also be called a, a compromise okay 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 let's see what her question okay tap the right chi or chi yeah, okay. okay. my wife also very free now. okay right. okay <coughs> so uh external then internal is very important now. so don't just go and apply formulas and keep running around like a monkey okay uh, because we've got better things to do in our life so smarter okay even well, whatever skills that you're good at, you go to company, right? What you do, you don't just showcase your good skills and then making everybody look like an idiot, right? You have to see the company culture. You have to observe who are the good ones, who are the ones to be more careful with, who are the ones that are nicer ones, who are the ones that are more nasty to you. Then you look at the company culture and you sit in and try to do the right stuff. What, do you, what are you doing? External, then internal. Same thing. <laughs> okay. <coughs> okay. Ready for next? All right. So the next thing, <sighs> self-proven formula, then hearsay concept. Uh, simply put, for any feng shui methods that you've learned, it's always good that you test it out. <laughs> if you have no chance to test it out in your own house, you test out on people's house. That's how you do it, okay? But anyway, it's always good to test it out, all right? When I say test it out, it means test it and observe and see the results, huh? Because you will realize things that you may not have thought of until you apply it. And part of the whole deal is this. There are many olden texts where a lot of formulas are, wow, wow, all the bombastic, all the, like, touch the mask and you become a star. Oh, what a stupid thing, okay? But older text doesn't mean they are right. Huh? Older text just means they are written in the olden time. Huh? And and a lot of them are to be determined, okay? Okay. And you need to really know, test it out, understand, in order to gain a better grasp of the whole concept and try to make it simple also. So the but you must understand. So when you hear a lot of concepts, uh, <coughs> don't try to just straight away, oh I want to buy this house because of this concept. Then it, it might be a bit too expensive. Uh, a move okay so even even what is this about Dili Wujie ah yeah Dei Lei Mu okay Dili Wujie so it, this is a, one of the older texts for example uh, this is one of the older texts uh, where uh, this uh, Earth what is called it uh, Earth Mother 5 script uh, I don't know Earth Mother Manual <laughs> okay but uh, it, it, it just says uh, uh, for example this one it says about there are 8 there are eight chapters, I think, and it says about how to use Wopan, how to under, un, understand the dragon vein, how to know uh, the meridian spot, this one, this text, okay, uh, how to how to know whether it's auspicious or inauspicious, how to from there know uh, the sitting and the facing, and then from there, oh, combine all this, then you will have a good understanding of feng shui how to tap uh, the 24 motors and look at 
the the we call it the uh, the water mouth. Uh. So end of the day, they are eight chapters, something like that. Okay. So, but that long story short, uh, this covers uh, many many important things already. Uh. It covers uh, the 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 mountain, the water, the seating, the facing, the spot. Uh, yeah, lo, the meridian. Uh. So it covers the, literally the whole feng shui. So a lot of people wow, like it. Then you keep doing, you keep trying. But my point is this: if there's simpler formula for you to try, try that first. Don't go uh, because of a hearsay of a very basic, powerful formula. Then you chong ah uh, and go and do it. Okay, <coughs> because simple proven is always better. Okay, okay. Uh, Paul said, uh, yeah, I agree. I tested E sector landscaping project, but executed it during the property's great sun period. <coughs> Activated fire at south sector on success day and then start the project on open day. All ended extremely well. Had, had great wealth related opportunities already. Really works. Mm. Okay. So, by the way, you all know what, what is Paul saying? Uh, yep, I, I understand what you're saying. Okay. So, so, yeah. Oh, since you talk about the great sun and the great moon, uh, yes, heard before or not the great sun and the great moon? <coughs> heard before? Type a yes if you have heard before, type a no if you have never heard before. Great sun, great moon. Tai Yang Tai Yang. It is one of the uh, <coughs> method in feng shui where you are using based on the house based on the property you are using uh, the the sitting the sitting of the house to look for better periods look for better periods to to do your uh, uh, reno works groundbreaking <coughs> tearing down structural changes so that in case you you step on the wrong toe you you miss certain key points you do something stupid or wrong along the way it is able to mitigate the wrong chi okay ah, so that's for the great sun and great moon great sun because of its brightness or able to outshine the negativities great moon is because of its purity able to uh, outcast the, uh, the the impure okay so that's why Great sun and great moon are good for <coughs> feng shui based on the property trying to find good periods of dates that is better off for you to do structural groundbreaking reno development or whatever okay so that in case something is missed out at least you're on the safer side and then in that period you still need to choose the right date uh, it's not done uh, okay. <laughs> all right so this is called great sun and great moon in case you're don't know okay so Proven formula is important, okay? So that you you are better off with things that you're familiar. Unless you're out to try new formulas, ah, fair. But don't just dive into a wow, big formula and just follow through uh, because it sounds amazing. But not tested. No review. No hearsay. But in the, in the internet, it says so. Don't do this kind of thing, okay? It can be quite pricey to pay. Alright, so that, that, that leads to my next point also. Are you ready for the next point? Agi, very cheap. Very cheap? I just say up literally the layman term, Agi. <laughs> okay. Alright, so, oh, hey, hey, I saw Agi. How to tap chi? Simple, easy way, uh, <coughs> to tap chi from the south. Uh, okay. Anybody down here? You want to tap chi from the south, right? The most simplest way, uh, okay? I don't, I totally don't throw in any jargon. Uh. If your house, there's a door or window that you can look at south, outside, number one, that's the one criteria. Number two criteria, looking outside the south direction is unblocked. That means, let's say in the range of 200 meters, there's no building, no nothing in front that's blocking the view. You can see the far away. Uh, that's criteria two. Number three, and the views, if you can see within, let's say within 100 meters or so, you can, uh, or 200 meters, that if there's, if there are features like cross jump, no. 
where there are features like a, a stadium, a, a car parks where where there you know, uh, where there are a lot of motorcycles or vehicles parked down there. Uh, sometimes maybe junctions, or you can see uh, there is a maybe a uh, a temple, a church. Mm. Then probably that you got you got the right criteria of a good chi to tap. Okay, yes. Okay, ah, thank you. You ask for simple, right? Ah, this is simple one. Okay, okay. So right. Yeah, wait, wait. Prefer sim applications than complicated yeah yeah a lot of things yes will be simple the easier the better okay the easier the better everybody likes simplicity for feng shui application everybody likes simplicity give me a love if you like simplicity <laughs> you, all prefer, you all prefer complicated <laughs> okay complicated stuff uh you know, sometimes in older text uh, they write in a way that's hard to understand also uh. And when it's even complicated to apply, uh, it's double pain. Uh. So, so uh, even like what Stanley Stanley Star Killing, uh, wow, them complicated. Uh. Heard of some, uh, about some Star Killing? Uh, yeah, Stanley Star Robbery. Stanley Star Robbery is very complicated. Uh, even more complicating. Uh, and then how uh, must have double star facing uh, or the pen facing chi has to be linked. Uh, period, eight, period 8 has to be what? 258. Uh, period 9 has to be 369. Uh, or you listen already, what the hell? Oh, not to mention the uh, center must have her two connected. Uh. Oh, then must see mountain some more. Some more. Uh. Oh, then you'll be, uh, if you can find, uh, uh, if, you can, if you can apply the seven star robbery, uh, wow, the house grade for 180 years. Uh, wow. But it, it's a bit too far fetched. Uh. Some people are also disputing the seven star robbery. Uh, okay. So my point is this if you have simpler applications to apply, if there are ways for you to learn simpler method and yet still effective, go for it. Okay. Uh, yes. In in eating application of feng shui, there is there are some simple methods. Okay, maybe I maybe decide if I conduct a class. I don't know whether interested or not. Also, okay, if interested then you tell me lah. Okay, uh, eating feng shui. There is apply eating, uh, on on the context of feng shui. I've applied eating on the context of human reading. Ah, uh. I've applied eating on the context of uh divination. Uh. I can also apply eating on feng shui. Can. In I Ching, this thing, well, this this word, Yi Wu Yi Tai Ji, Yi Wu Yi Tai Ji, every single form is a Tai Ji. And since that, that's why you can read external and apply internally. And that's how you can also look for good spots, well spots, <coughs> okay, after verifying the past. Okay, so I Ching Feng Shui is very simple. Okay, please, if you have ever heard of, oh, people using a string, then hang the don't know what metal or ball and then you see how it moves and then look at the direction uh, that's not I Ching Feng Shui uh. okay no, rephrase that's not applying Feng Shui based on I Ching uh. okay, uh. okay all right all right so what's next oh <laughs> I like this one prefer effective cost than expensive who does not understand type of type uh, me who doesn't understand this type of me? Who understand this type of yes? It's very clear cut, right? If if I ask you a hey, feng shui, if somebody asks you a hey, the door is not good, go 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 and tilt, go and tilt the door, tilt by an additional fifteen degrees. Wow, it'll be very good. Then you go and get a contractor to come and measure, get an ID to get uh, the design nice nice. Then after that, you feng shui. In the end of the day, you pay the feng shui low. You pay the ID. You pay the contractor before you hopefully get something good hopefully uh. expensive uh. if there's a chance oh your stove must go and change the direction or, or else before you even have any objective and confirm of anything and you, or if the guy say oh, the stove is bad go and change then you go and change uh. these are all very expensive things uh. expensive movement uh. everybody earns first before you uh. so try to avoid that when you look for a house try to have look for a house that it fits your bill you like it at the same time you need to do only minimal ah, that's the best house and in feng shui nobody's going to tell you uh, or rephrase up uh, i agree that in feng shui you can buy stuff and put to activate you can buy expensive stuff to put but there are cheaper means of doing that number one sort out what you want and test it out first 
Number two, you, don't need, you, you need to know what to do, the actions to take to write on it. Number three, you don't need to buy very expensive stuff to put one actually. You can do actions in, in that place or you can buy very cheap stuff for placement to, 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 to mitigate or to tap. Okay, so my point is this. Effective cost is better than expensive. No? Get that right? <laughs> so, so that you avoid all the expensive things ma, to do. Ma. Who, who likes to spend a lot of money one? You tell me. La. Okay. So, uh, so, so that's end of the day. It's really about that. So that you are, you are playing smarter. You don't let people earn your money in a way that you are just wasting or being cheated. Okay. So, and also don't spend five figure go and do a house to go on feng shui okay there are many many ways where money can be better spent okay all right all right yes yeah, simple yet yeah, effective okay so always always look for more cost effective means on an application of feng shui all right so any more ah? let me see any more ah? so far any questions or not so far any questions or not? Any question you have, you, you ask, you tell me. Uh. Ah, I think I got need a few more slides. Okay. <coughs> Any questions that you have? Come, come. Paul, yes, I'm now in love with I Ching. Yes, I Ching can be very fun. It, 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 it can be made very simple for a lot of people. Okay, if you know how to make it simple. Okay, don't get mesmerized by, wow, I Ching very profound. I like it. The key thing is you must be, be able to apply. Uh. No matter how profound the thing is, you must be able to apply it to solve your issues, your livelihood, ah, then it's good. If you know something profound and you cannot apply it, then it's just feeling good only. That you know something profound. No? <laughs> you want that or you want to make that help you to solve your problem in life. <laughs> Applicable is a keyword, okay? Alright, alright. <coughs> Paul. Agree again, the fixed structure such as a door, stove, balcony are already aligned with P9, P1, P2 and other features like table and bed can be customized. Okay, sign uh, Simona. The office where I work is south facing in front. There's a building with many shop edges pointing in the in the office and a very busy straight road. Can't see the road from the place where I'm sitting, but do see the building and Publicity sign shop ages again. I just worked there for a month and realized my eyes starting hurt and I can see worse than before. Could this have something to do with it? And if yes, how can how to mitigate it? Entrance is on the southwest. Oh, this is a this is a, a more uh, precise question. Uh, okay, so <coughs> how to mitigate this kind of thing? Uh? One of simple. Okay, first and foremost, uh, you see when you say there are shop ages pointing. Uh, the shop edges are from where? The side of the building or the rooftop? Because, you see, uh, if the if opposite at the south, uh, the rooftop are all shop, uh, then it shouldn't be pointing you. Uh, if you're pointing to the sky, uh, that means the arrow, the shark is... Who can uh? <laughs> Correct now. If the rooftop is like that, it's pointing there. Uh, so, don't, don't be bothered with a shop. If it's like that, uh, if it's like that, ah, then it's a different story. But for you to get the shot directly and get got hit, uh, there are some criteria to be met. It's not every pointing arrow at you are bad arrows. No? Rephrase, it's not every pointing arrows pointing at you, you will get it. No? Uh, because it needs, the alignment needs to be there. In one of the contexts, it says that the pointing arrow has to hit into the center of the Tai Chi before it is applicable or else it is just pew, the arrow is skewed, it didn't hit you. Okay? So long story short, how to mitigate how to mitigate uh, uh if you can, if you can, because you're sitting down there, you can't do much. So try to try to if you if there is a possible way I don't know whether in your office because where you're sitting the window panels are window panels right simona so you can't cover with a curtain right yeah you can't cover your curtain then uh, what to do try to try to sit nearer try to sit nearer uh to to the entrance or try to sit uh in in the corner 
in the sector that is good for the year. In this year, actually the good sector is at south and west. Okay, so if you are there in this year, if it's a hot seat, or you can choose or try to uh, look for look for good sectors that aligns to your birth chart is one another way uh, to mitigate. Okay. If you are sitting at Southeast and it's down there, of course you will get it worse. Okay, okay Simona, try to look for information that aligns to a chart that is good for you, the sectors, or for the year, and you look for telltale sign how to how to tap on it. All right. Okay. So now, where am I? Uh? Okay. Understand then apply. Okay. Understand formulas then apply. It's very simple, lor. As good as you you know when to slow down, when to change gear, then you change gear. Ma. <laughs> you can't be changing gear when it's not the right time to change gear. Then you're asking for screwing up the gearbox. Same thing. Understand that apply is always the case because some are potent. And if you don't test it out in a small scale and you just whack it hard on a big scale for feng shui and apply it, then it can be very painful. It's like even for my case, uh, I recently I got issues. Wow, in that one day, you know what happened? You know, in that three days, what happened? My left leg, it, I think I twisted it. Then my right leg got problem. Then my right shoulder suddenly got a cold shoulder. It's locked. And then my back here got sprained. Wow, all in the three days. Uh, what the? Then I do an aging divination. Then I go and see, oh shit. I think I know what's the problem. When I go there, I and I know where's the problem. I adjusted it, and within two days, all these problems are gone. So, I'm not saying that they are cursing me, but I'm saying that because I have this problem, and it shows in some telltale sign in my surrounding, and by being able to doing mitigations on the surrounding, it does affect the chi of of uh, my surrounding, and it does helps me on recovery faster. Okay. So, so that's why we need two days. Eh, everything that seems to be ninety percent gone. So, eh, okay. So that's how powerful aging divination can be. Eh? Okay. So okay, this is very clear cut. You understand something, then you apply. If you don't understand, you ask. Okay. And if you try to understand more, try to get more reviews, more feedbacks from people who have walked the path before you apply. Then you apply. Okay. It's very clear cut. One last important thing is this committed actions then one thing results who know what I'm talking down here how to find the wealth spot in the house uh, to be wealthy to be lucky uh, uh, how, how to how to how to strike rich fast uh, how to uh, you see you can have all the wishes that you want uh, but if you are not taking the right actions proven workable and make it sustainable. Uh. It's just it's just not gonna come or it's just gonna be come and go very fast, okay? Uh you have to take the right actions in order to to get to the uh, uh, to ride on the wave, uh, okay? Uh okay, let's put it this way. So so as to to be able to tap onto the chi. Whatever you are doing it has to be aligned to the chi in order for you to take action. Action is an energy directed with the energy directed, you're trying to reach to a point that, that is able to convert. And then from there, convert to what? Tangible or non-tangible results. Energy can only be transferred. It cannot be destroyed. Okay. So once you're able to transfer what you're doing, this energy, into something that is able to be transferred into tangible or non-tangible result, the not the intangible one means what? Satisfaction. A sense of achievement, a sense of fulfillment, a sense of accomplishment. Okay. The tangible ones, very clear cut money, promotion, race, uh, uh, recognition, medals, all these are tangible. So, whatever you're doing, the action, <coughs> it has to be committed. That means, what? Your hand must be dirty. La. In taking the actions, uh, don't just keep wishing, 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 and wishing. Uh. You can wish until the cow comes home, uh, if it ever comes home. Uh. But, but yeah, you have to take action. Uh, okay? Alright? So, so as to so as to really uh, see for yourself. Mm. Then the, 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 the experience will sit, sit with you until you die. Because you've been through it. 
and only when you've been through an application and you observe the results then you know what works what doesn't work okay so for example one of the things i did a placement i did a placement uh from uh approach very low cost and cheap okay and i actually did that placement uh on a date that way back uh the time i didn't apply the date selection then i put it up for anything that's sway yeah you can think anything that's unlucky you can think of it happens within that three days <laughs> then i quickly remove it what uh, what what uh, is happening then after that oh big selection then in the next occasion probably a month later i do the same thing i do the same thing placement in the same spot but specifically select a date and what happened <laughs> within three days good things happen you know good things really happen I was like, oh. but the key thing is the lesson learned which is going to forever sit with me this selection is very important on certain specific placement that pertains to certain way of doing this selection are very important that means what if you do the right stuff with a wrong date it's going to be screwed antenna signal somehow just went screwed okay so this one one lesson but i wouldn't know unless i am hands on doing it now that you've heard it you can try yourself doing something uh, then it's uh, on a certain placement or certain activation on a so so date on a date that's no affinity with you and you do it the same exact thing on a date that is having strong affinity with you you see the result then you get to realize how come you do can i do can uh? how come you when you do you got result when i do the same thing i got no result uh? anger is the same you know then the location is the same no? you will be wondering why one of these is because of this and you that's why a lot of applications that you're doing if you do it enough you will know why and that's why 101 okay you, when you commit actions and do it you will observe you'll figure out you'll know what works and what doesn't work you know you have your own set of rules to guide you on helping yourself and the people around you okay mm, it's important if you're learning something still give me love and like okay okay ping ping ask a question just curious is staying at high floor better than low floor since high floor most likely can look further and not block no 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 no, no. <laughs> if you say a high floor or low floor uh each have their own good and goodness <laughs> okay so uh if you stay at low floor we look for other stuff if you stay at high floor we look for the appropriate stuff some formulas are applicable for low floor for example seven star robbery low floor not high any friends who are staying in apartment building uh, you you are dreaming of seven star robbery uh, bye bye you can, you can keep dreaming okay and in any anyway, olden days feng shui uh, do you know in china last time how tall are their buildings <laughs> they are all landed right literally uh, maybe three or four story only right right even the, the the forbidden city all these are very low floor all these buildings are very low floor so how uh, where does the high floor came in uh? Uh, then that's why that's the evolution of this technique called the purple white uh, okay, where it caters for different floors different stars of arrangement or else you can be flying star the whole stack uh, you be the same style uh, then how uh? so that's why purple white caters for different floor different time different charts to be more molecularly different and specific in application but in olden days there's no high floor eh? huh? so where do all these formula come from eh? so that's the reason why uh, when things are evolving pe uh, people are testing out they come up with more new formulas but new is still to test out to see how workable and is it how practical and how true it is okay so uh, so Wait, my, okay so ping ping so uh high floor and low floor first you still choose a house that you like the floor that you like and then based on that objective what it, you can do that you can tap the chi to meet your objective uh that's a more important question okay so to each their own uh, this high floor low floor landed floor uh some uh, i've even seen a u-shaped landed property u-shaped landed property you know 
That means it's like it's like maybe this shape ah. Okay. Wow, a freaking big missing corner, no? A freaking big missing corner. Wow, very bad, oh. No. If the it, uh there are some criteria that met ah. this house very good, oh. Literally uh, babies after babies. Uh. <laughs> Easily uh, we need that I think we need that five years got four kids. Uh. Yeah. Five years got four kids. Uh. Simple or not? You ask me. I, I say I say it's not it's not easy for the mother. Okay. So so my point is you still have to be assessed, uh, okay? Alright, alright. Yeah, where am I? Uh? I can't somehow I can't see the kind of the questions. Uh. Okay, let me see. Did I miss any questions? Uh, eh, uh, eh, any ask can an external tree block the sharp corner of a building facing you you have to make sure that the tree itself is not a sharp <coughs> any okay any ask a question can an external tree block the sharp corner of a building the tree, the bushy part of the tree, yes. But again, if you are at the ground, the door of the building, the house, you look out, you must make sure that the trunk of the tree is not going to be another new shaft for your entrance. Uh, okay? It's very. Yeah. Okay? You see, last time I saw a house uh, where at the balcony, there is one tree down there. The tree trunk is really long and narrow. Is it a shark? Yes. Then apparently, you know what happened? Yeah, really the father mother always quarrel. The 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 sibling or couple uh got divorced. Then another the one of the brother also the relationship got break off. <laughs> then you know, how come all are so potent are so sweet? Then you start to realize something. The tree. And, and you know what? Then they ask, I, I asked about the previous owner. Then they start to realize, oh yeah, huh? you know what they say? The previous owner bought that house, supposed to be a matrimony house. It means they bought the house for their, in advance for their wedding. And they decorate the house, and it's very nice. Apparently, they both got separated before the wedding. And that's why they need to sold, sell the house, and they sold it to that, that family. And that family also got relationship problem, okay. And yeah, I saw the tree. It, it aligns to relationship issues, uh, okay. So yeah lah. So the tree itself, you have to watch out uh, The trunk of the tree, all right. Any okay. So right. Uh, Paul said, I believe higher floors and lower floors are better in receiving chi. Mid floors are usually the last to receive the chi. Um, in my context, not really lah. Okay, not really. The key thing is, uh, is really about the chi can be in many forms. Okay, can be, but it's from the external, external land form, external design, external road building, external facility, external train station, bus stop, junction. All this you look at everywhere, and from there you see where is the best chi source to tap, and there it decides whether are you able to suck in or not. If you can, ah, good. If you cannot, hmm, what else can you still be done? Ah, so if you cannot, <laughs> that is really a thing harder, uh, assess harder. Okay, so, and that would be the, if you need to go to that stage, then the house cheese is a bit uh, inferior, not inferior, uh, lesser opportunities to write on good stuff. Okay, mm. okay. Ping Ping, interesting. I read from somewhere that it's better not to live too far from the ground. Not to live too far from the ground. Hmm, maybe different people say different things, but I personally, nowadays, uh, there are buildings which are like 45, 45th floor above ground, uh, or 50th floor above ground. How? Uh, <laughs> those people will die first, right? No. Uh, so, <laughs> okay? Yeah. But confirm a good thing, uh, those buildings will also. You see, a uh, high buildings, like 50th, 50th floor, uh, quite unlikely you'll be blocked, right? Un unless you're blocked by your own 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 blocks of buildings uh. then in that context wow i'm not view super good uh. no also got a problem very gushy winds is a shark <laughs> also right and we look at different stuff to assess the chi 
and also the luck, the opportunities also. Right? So different different Jia Jia Yo Ben Nang Yin the Jing, you know that what that means? Every house got different problem and different problems have different ways of dealing with it. Uh, okay. Let me say okay. So low floor or block, no, we have other ways to look at it. High floor, confirm unblock, no, still got its problem also. So you need to access and see carefully. Okay, all right. Mark Lim asks, what kind of lamp post is considered shaha? Because lamp posts are literally everywhere on the street, especially all residential areas. <coughs> Very clear cut. Huh? If you your house, let's say landed, you stand at the gate. The, the, the gate open. You stand there. When you stand at the gate, you move to, along the leftmost to the rightmost of the gate. Assuming this is the leftmost of the gate, this is the rightmost of the gate. Any post that you can see perpendicular in front of you, no? any line post or not? <laughs> if yes, ah, you got it. <laughs> Simple, right? <laughs> okay. So in the gate width, move to the left, to the right, along that line. You are the, goal, you are the goalkeeper. Lah, huh? Then perpendicular, perpendicular, any lamppost or not. If yes, you got it already. Okay, that's the straight forward. Or open the window. Phew, open the window. You see any trunk or lamppost? You directly in the speed, not looking sideways, uh, no, just perpendicular out. You see a lamppost, you get it. Okay, and it depends on how obvious, how rough it is. Okay, so, so, uh, yes, uh, but that doesn't mean. You will die fast or hell break loose. No lah. There are still many ways to deal with it. Depends on what can still be done. Lah, okay. So uh, I have ever advised my friends before la. I mean it depends on what can be done law. Maybe you can go and buy those things from Taobao where every day you pass by the tree, you pour one, two drop. Every day you pass by you pour one, two drop. Lah. Then you see how naturally things can happen lah, if it's a tree lah. Okay. Uh, this is one of my very as a joke way of suggesting uh, but uh, yeah the easiest way curtain close or get some blockages in front yeah because you can't you, you can't chop the tree over or you can't tear the lamppost over okay but if it's like diagonally 45 degrees i don't care uh, one, okay i'm saying perpendicular out from your entrance or from your window if you see it yes it is going to be a problem okay and you have to do something okay Okay, Mark, hope I answered the question. Any, I experienced gushing wheeze before. Sounded so eerie. <laughs> yes. So maybe it sounded like a, a cat meowing. Out. <laughs> okay, so but, uh, whatever the case, uh, okay, so uh, <laughs> gushing wheeze, gushing wheeze means very, uh, it's called, it's not welcome in olden days. Because, you see, in olden mouth, in olden feng shui where we are trying the, the the way the mountains are formed the way the mountains are connected is important because of the land form the way the winds are blowing along will determine how the wind can come to settling on certain mountain shape especially at the last mountain peak where where the formation of it allows the air to be more settled and then from there the chi to be more easily accumulated and so that part of the whole deal the mountain being connected and the winds being flowing it gives a very right spot called a meridian spot a meridian spot is what in the olden days <coughs> the okay uh, I think yeah, where it's, it, it it says very clearly uh, how how is how important it is. So, but for qi to really settle in and so that that space is really uh, you will find it different. Okay, that spot, meridian spot. But if the wind are gushy, you can't accumulate qi. <laughs> You'll be blown off. So that's why gushy winds in olden context are not welcome maybe in high floor if you wow shook wow the hair wow maybe an advertisement on hair hair shampoo wow if you shook but that's that's one thing uh. but then the other thing on feng shui gashi winds are not welcome okay all right all right so markley ooh, not looking left and right 
from the door window. Thanks. Okay, good. Okay. So, uh, all right. I hope I answer all your questions. Huh? So now, committed actions when one thing results, uh, then one thing results. Okay. Before you want something, you must you you have to be willing to take action. Get means get your hands dirty. Yeah. Okay. So with this, hope that I've covered enough the one o one for you. This is a recap of everything down here. Okay. So always when you try to apply anything that is tactical, we look back in this list so that you know that you have a, the better you're grasping it correctly the lesser problems you will have applying it the higher chance you will have uh, more effective results that are more favorable for you okay but if you're trying 10 times 15 times of fun some feng shui activities uh, <laughs> and 99 percent you don't get anything uh, something is not sitting right then you it's good for you to relook down here okay so far you're learning something or not that, Type a yes, give a love if you are, okay? Because end of the day, uh, it's really about setting the bones right. Just like chiropractic, uh, you must align it rightly or else you can't even raise your arm. You can't even go for a job because something is just locked and jammed and that's why you can't even sleep properly. How? Go in chiropractic and loosen up. Uh, uh, a lot of people are doing that now. So as to loosen up, the chi can flow, then you can do a lot of stuff. Same thing. Get this sorted through so that some of the proper stuff sits correctly so that you can do a lot of feng shui activations and activities same logic man. so some sounds are like no-brainer uh, but until you hit a roadblock uh, that one hey, uh, how come i didn't see that earlier uh, okay <laughs> so so uh always do that all right so that you know when you are riding on the right side of the whole equation